Hey guys, it's Mallard with another stamp video, and today I'll open a grab bag um, for my buddy Moss from Texas. I'm super excited, haven't done grab bags in a while. I've got a huge stack waiting on my left side, so hopefully I can get a few, with a few of them in the next few weeks. So like I said, um, open up another grab bag. Um, this one is from Texas. If you guys wanna send me a grab bag, I will send the address you can send them to down below. Um, how this works is you guys send me a grab bag. I open it up for you guys um, on YouTube. Um, I read your letter, I see what you give me. And then if you have any requests to stamps you want, send that um, also in um, the grab bag with a note. And I will try to fulfill those requests as best I can. The reason I do this um, publicly is because I want you guys to see that I'm transparent. I'm not in this for the money, I'm just in this um, you know, to get to know you guys, build a little bit of a stamp community. Um, but yeah, that's what I got. So um, I did open the side here, just to make it easier for me to pull it out. All right, so we got that. I'll leave that up there. Um, I am going to read this note real quick, make sure there's no personal information. If there's not, um, I'll bring you guys right back in. All right, guys, super short and sweet. Um, it says, Mallard, I enjoy your, your YouTube videos. Enclosed are a few stamps. For you in exchange, please send something cool in return. Keep up the good work, Doug. Um, and as you can see, we are a little behind. This is from October 13th. Um, so we gotta get moving, guys. We gotta catch up to all the grab bag you guys have been sending me. Um, thank you so much, Doug, um, for sending me this grab bag. Um, I can't wait to open it. Um, send something cool in return. Um, Doug, if you see this, by the time I post um, the next video, which will be tomorrow, um, please comment what if you want any specific stamps or whatever you want, um, and I'll do my best. Otherwise, I'm just going to give you some cool stuff, try to do some cool stuff. Um, so we'll look here. Oh, yeah. Quite the selection I see already. Let's see if we can pull these out. Awesome. Oh, ooh, more up here. Look at these guys. We can see these. Those are two pounds right there. That's a 10-pound stamp. Holy moly. So those are some expensive stamps there. I'll probably keep those, set those aside. Look at that up there. Some chrome up there. 10 pound stamp. I don't have a 10 pound stamp from um, Great Britain. Looks like it's from Great Britain. Um, but yeah, awesome, Doug, thanks for sending that. We'll keep that up there. Uh, I'm not sure how to do this. I might just try and pick them out of here as we go. Might be the easiest way. So yeah, so we're just gonna get going. I'll put them right here. Let me see if I can keep them down here. Looks like there's two of them. This might work, this might not. I might just pour them all out, I don't know. Uh, so he's kind of organized them for me. Because we got two Tunisia stamps right there. Uh, yeah, guys, sorry I haven't been uploading a ton um, recently. Up here in Chicago, it's been getting dark a lot sooner, and I don't get home um, until a little bit later at night. Um, and this is like me being completely transparent. Um, I don't like doing uh, videos at night without like sunlight coming from that side over there because then it's super dim and dark. Um, so normally if I do a video, I actually do it earlier in the day because I get home a little earlier from whatever I'm doing. Um, so today I got home early and I wanted to do a video, so that's what I'm doing. So me not uploading isn't necessarily because I'm like... This is a sweet stamp. I think it's from... Turkey, maybe? It's this way. Um, isn't because I'm super busy. It's just because I don't want to give y'all a video that you can't see what I'm un or what I'm uh, showing y'all. I wonder to draw this. That's another Tunisia stamp, isn't it? Yeah, we'll stick that with the Tunisia stamps. And one drop down here. Let me grab it. Let's see here. Nice. Another Tunisian stamp. I might just end up getting these out. I might go a little quicker for y'all. Another Tunisian stamp. Kind of going randomly. <laughs> Grasshopper. Love that. Um, and yeah, guys, don't forget about the giveaway we're doing still this month of November. Um, if I get to 500 subscribers, I am giving away um, a $1 Colombian stamp. Um, and if I uh, if we get to a thousand subscribers, I will give away a Scott number one. 
um, to enter a contest, just go to the video. I'll put the link of the video down below in the description and put your name in the comment section and you'll be entered. Um, I will randomly assign your name to a number and I will randomly ask Siri to pick a number between one or whatever, however many we have, and whoever wins it gets it if we get to 500 subscribers. If not, I'm still thinking about December since it's Christmas. Um, you know, tis the season, I might just do a giveaway just for fun um, to give you guys something. Because I've tried two giveaways. We haven't reached that 500 subscriber mark, but that's okay. I'm not in it for subscribers, I'm not in it for money. I just think it's something fun to do. I would love it if the stamps I give away go to some young new stamp collector. Um, somehow that can start their fire for stamp collecting. Um, I think that's something I would really, really enjoy doing. But if you are still old to stamp collecting, I'm so glad you're watching this video. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, and maybe you would like one of those stamps in your collection. And I'm more than willing to hand that over if we get, can get to 500 subscribers. To 500 subscribers. And we're just cooking through them now. Some more modern stamps, but that's fine. Two right here. Some more modern stamps. So yeah, so Doug, if you see this before, um, if you see this before I upload what I'm giving you, go ahead and comment down below what you would like, um, and I will do my best to give that to you. Um, since you are from Texas, I'm assuming you can probably get U.S. stamps like decently easily, so I'll probably go more of the foreign route for you, big guy. Um, and yeah, if you want some sort of currency, I have I I do collect U.S. coins and um, and stuff. Coins and stamps tend to go hand in hand, so of course I do collect some coins. Um, my coin collection I don't think is as good as my stamp collection, but I still think it's okay. They're just cooking through. I don't know much about these stamps, guys, because um, they're so modern. I'm way more of an older stamp guy. So if you know anything about these stamps. Um, something that I'm missing, let me know. Look at those perfs up there. That's weird. Look at the top. There's like missing. I don't think those were cut. I think that's like how it is. That's weird. Yeah, if you guys know any anything about these stamps, you want to fill me in, please comment down below um, so that everyone else can know as well. Oh, that has UNICEF overprint there. United Nations. Mm. Keep going. Uh, another thing, guys. If you have any ideas for this channel to make it fun and cool and make it better for everyone else, please comment down below. Let me know. Um, you guys, like, I, I know I say this every video, but me starting this channel, I just wanted to put a few videos... Um, just for fun to help young stamp collectors kind of get on their feet. What is what are perforations? How do I find them? What are watermarks? How do I find them? Um, <clears throat> little things like that. Some some things that you know I had questions about when I was started out and I didn't know. Um, but then it's kind of grown to this grab bag thing, which I love. I love these grab bags. Um, I love getting to know you guys, um, and I love people that I send grab bags to. They comment back and say thanks for the grab bag. Um, I don't know. I just think it's awesome. I think it's cool. Something something cool that we've started. Um, hopefully we can keep it rolling over the next few years. If it gets really, really big, it wasn't me. It was all you guys. Um, and I want you guys to know that I really do appreciate it. I mean, if this video gets two views, um, that's great. I'm glad I got two views. If it gets 200 views, that's great. It got 200 views. Um, again, I just hope my videos can help you guys. Um, maybe just entertain y'all for a little bit. Forget about all the lockdowns and everything and just kind of enjoy looking at random foreign U.S. stamps. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate you guys. And I know I say that every video and I'm saying it a lot now, but just know I, I mean it. I don't just say that to say it. Just cooking through these. we got a few more down here. Got it. Um, if you guys haven't seen, I actually started to organize my Persian stamp collection um, in my previous video. Um, pretty cool. I got some pretty sweet Persian stamps. There are some stamps worth some money, but overall, I don't have any Persian stamps that are worth like a ton of money, I don't think. Um, here's a sweet Canal Zone stamp. I'll keep that to the side. Um, and then there are some Persian stamps, if you guys know about them, slash Iran stamps. Um, there's a lot of... Um, forgeries in some 
areas of the the stamps um with especially with overprints there's a lot of forgeries with overprints and i'm working my way through those i'll hopefully give you guys an update with that um, and yes i know i haven't given you all an update with my german safe album um, partially because i'm st a little stuck i'm trying to figure out um, what sets one stamp apart from another because um, to me there is no difference and i know that sounds dumb but there's two pages in my safe album from germany that have the exact same stamp on it and normally you'd know the perfs or the watermark but they're the same perf and like the same watermark and i'm trying to figure out what makes them different so that's why i'm kind of stuck a little bit working our way through a lot of united nations stamps i wonder how many are in here i might have to go through and just uh separate those um because i don't have a lot of look here's another one isn't it i don't have a lot of them yeah united nations i might have to yeah here's another one so it looks like doug has sent me a lot of new united nations stamps let's keep going And like I said, here's another one. And like I said, guys, if you if I'm going through stamps and you guys see something super valuable and I just miss it, um, definitely call me out um, in the comment section. And let people know what is here. Let people know. Um, oh, there's a dollar. There's a pound and a half right there. Um, let people know that's here. That's a big stamp. this corner here uh, one more thing I do want to say um, I just thought about it but I will be traveling for Thanksgiving um, all Thanksgiving week so n this Friday all the way um, till next Saturday I will be gone visiting my wife's family oh boy Looks like we got a little sticky stick here. Um, we'll be visiting my wife's family. Um, and I will not um, be uploading. I may just stockpile a few videos and just release them throughout the week. Um, but if you guys don't have a video for me, that is why um, I am with family. Um, and like I said, family does come first here with me. And I can't take my whole stamp collection down to Florida. We're flying. Um, so I'll, maybe I'll, yeah, that's what I should, I should probably just back upload and just release them. Cause I can do these, I can do these grab bags and send them in the mail. Um, but I like to give the person, um, that sent the grab bag a chance to, to let me know if they want something specific. And if you guys think of any, um, giveaway you want to do for, uh, for Christmas, let me know. I could just give away the $1 Colombian. Um, to everyone who entered in the uh, competition, um, the previous one for 500 subscribers. What I might do, this is just me talk, speaking out loud, is I might do that. I might do a, a new competition for December. Let's get to 500 subscribers. If we don't, we will still announce a winner. And if you enter in the video um, previously or the video that I'm going to upload, um, you could possibly get two entries, right? So if I'm Mallard and I entered in the original... 500 subscriber giveaway, um, and I'm number one on that list, and I enter Mallard again with the new video I do. I could be number 20, um, but it will still be um, two entries. That's what I might try and do, because um, I would love to give away some stamps. I haven't done it in a while. Justin Riddle got the, the really good lot. It was a really, really easy. Um, thought 100 subscribers were gonna be harder, and you guys blew straight through that, um, and we got there. So Justin Riddle definitely benefited from that giveaway. Now the higher we go, it is, I think, a little easier because my videos get out a little bit farther, but still big numbers, man. So that's why we got to make the bigger numbers mean I have to have a bigger giveaway. That's what I say. We're almost there. Did I just throw that red one? Did I not even show y'all? I think I just threw that one. My bad. All right, we're getting down to the bottom here. 
Nice. Looks like we got some Chinese boat stamps. I don't want to mess them up. Oh. There's one. I do always set these aside. I have a huge uh, tub or bin that I put all these in. Um, just because at some point in my life, I will have the time to go through and find out all the overprints, what they're worth, what they mean. Um, but you know what, guys? I do not have that time right now. I mean, you can, you guys can tell. I barely, I'm trying to upload like once every three days at this point. Um, so it is hard. These are some bigger stamps here. Might just pick up this lot. Yeah. We'll go through them a little quicker. Some football right there. There you go. Borussia Dortmund. Christian Pulisic played for Borussia. And Gio Reyna plays for Borussia now. If you know, if you know who those guys are, comment down below. Big soccer guy. I'm a soccer coach. Oh. I'll set that one aside. That one doesn't look old, but it looks like a lot of money's. Yeah, just wait till Christian Pulisic joins all those young guns we saw the other day in the friendlies. Um, wait until you see what they can do when they're all together. Got it. All right, we're running to 15 minutes now, so I'm going to fly through these last ones for y'all. Might just do this. There's another United Nations. I don't want to make the movies or the videos too long. So he probably gave me a good what 300 stamps here. So I'll, I'll need to equal that, if not up that. I'm gonna send him stamps back, or I might just send him a few really nice stamps. My man Doug Moss. This way. Same stamp, different color. Last few. Got some of these German ladies here. Last one. Boom. I don't know. Yeah, did I show you that one? Just in case. And just in case. All right, guys. Well, that was the uh, the stamps Doug Moss sent me. Um, thank you guys for watching, Doug Moss. Be, look, be on the lookout. I'm seeing your stamps, or I will make a video about what I'm seeing you shortly. Um, thank you guys for watching.